Welcome to the Unitrends Solution Video Series. In this video, we will focus on the setup of your VMware backups using the Unitrends backup software and the Recovery Series Appliance Solutions. Before I walk you through this process though, let's review a couple key items. So first and foremost, it's important to understand how Unitrends can back up virtual machines within VMware. Unitrends leverages an agentless methodology to back up your virtual machines, which does not require the use of agents in each and every guest VM. In addition to that, if you have virtual machines that are running Microsoft Exchange or Microsoft SQL, you also do not require the use of agents. With the agentless backup methodology of Unitrends, you can also perform application aware backups of those database types to put them into a consistent state also being able to perform log truncation for Exchange. Now, however, there are certain scenarios in which the, an agent is required, as outlined here in this slide. Those scenarios include if you have virtual machines leveraging physical RDMs or raw device mappings within VMware. Reason being, VMware does not support the snapshotting of physical RDMs, which is what Unitrend is leveraging as part of the agentless backups. However, traditional VMDKs or virtual RDMs are still supported for the agentless backups. Secondly, if you're doing in-guest iSCSI disk mappings, this also would require the use of agents. Those disk mappings take place within the operating system of the guest virtual machine, which is not visible within the VMware hypervisor layer. Thus, the use of agents is also required in this scenario. And then lastly, if you are running free ASXi, that also requires the use of agents. For paid editions of VMware, for example, to include Essentials, Standard, Enterprise, Enterprise Plus, those can be backed up without agents. VMware locks down the VMware APIs for data protection in the free version of ASXi, which does force you to use agents. So again, if you're running VMware in any of these three scenarios, please reference the physical machine backup video, which walks you through how to use agents with Unitrends. In all other cases, we can support the agentless backups of virtual machines within VMware. Let's go ahead and take a look how to set this up now. Okay, so you now have the Unitrends backup software or the recovery series appliance deployed on the network and configured. Before I walk you through the backup setup though, I want to highlight how you would set up application aware backups, which we discussed before. So if you do have a Microsoft SQL server or an Exchange server that you want to make application aware for its backups, you would first come into configure under protected assets and then drill into your VMware environment. So here's our vCenter instance. I expand that and I'm going to scroll down to one of my Exchange servers and select that machine and to the top right, select edit. So in this, you'll see a checkbox for enable application aware VM processing. That will ensure the databases are put into a consistent state, also performing the log truncation for exchange. And the last step would be to input the credentials here that can authenticate through Windows. Again, if you have virtual machines not running these applications, you do not have to worry about enabling this step. But for those that are VSS aware, like Microsoft Exchange and SQL, as a best practice, you will want to check this off. So once you've completed those steps, you can then go into Jobs, under Create, and select Backup. So we first want to change this from agent-based assets to VMware assets. Then I'll display my vCenter instance, or standalone host to now see the inventory of virtual machines. Now, if you know upfront specific VMs you only want to include for backup, all you have to do is select those machines, like so. And then as you select those, they will populate to the right. Also take note that each virtual machine you select has an edit option. This allows you to select virtual machine disks to exclude from backup. So this VM has two disks. If one of these disks I did not want to include in the backup, I can deselect that. So by default, all virtual machine disks will be included in the backup 
but with the edit option, you can exclude certain disks. On top of that, you can be creative with the targeting of the backup jobs. So instead of selecting individual VMs, if you select the top level vCenter container here, it'll present you with the filtering option. So what you can do with this is control and manage several different types of filters. So if I select VM display name, starts with BUR and save that, it'll now interrogate vCenter for all VMs that meet that criteria. Once it's done, it'll output the results along the right here. And also this filter will stay in effect. So once I've saved this backup job, any VM that you add to the environment that meets this criteria will automatically be picked up by the next scheduled backup. So another way to automate the auto discovery of virtual machines, which won't require you to have to edit the job to pick up those newly deployed VMs. So once you've identified what VMs you wanna back up, your last and final step here is to pick your backup mode, where we will recommend you to use incremental forever. This is more efficient than using your traditional modes of fulls, incrementals, and differentials, because it will only require a full backup to run once all incrementals are run thereafter. And as it pertains to VMware, change block tracking or CBT is also leveraged for incremental backups, which will further reduce your backup times. Now you do have the option to use fulls, incrementals, and differentials, but it's not required, nor would we recommend you to do that. And finally, simply pick the days in the week you want the backups to run, the start time, and also if you'd like, you can have the backup run multiple times throughout the day with the recurrence every option and set that frequency. At that point, all you simply do is hit save and you have your backup set for VMware using the Unitrends backup software or recovery series appliance solution. And that concludes this video on how to set up your VMware backups using the Unitrends backup software or the recovery series appliance solution. I do encourage you to check out the remainder of the video series for more helpful information, but thank you for taking the time to learn more about Unitrends.